in this video i am going to talk about some basic concept of network and also i am going to provide certain example for the balance fields how to predict the balance fields and after that how to find out the current passing through certain resistance so let's assume we have the network let's assume we have plus 10 volt and right here we have 3 ohm resistance and we have the 5 volt in series with this resistance and right here we have this terminal where we are going to find out the voltage across this terminal that is AB and you can observe that this voltage is present parallel with this voltage source so because of that the voltage across this terminal is going to be equal to 10 volt because for the parallel connection the voltage is going to be same so because of that this voltage is going to be equal to 10 volt so this is one concept or basic concept of this network now coming across the balance speeds Let's assume we have a network we have this ZQ equals to 2 ohm ZP equal to 4 ohm right here we have J3 ohm and a capacitor of minus j4 ohm right here zs which is equals to 2 ohm zr equal to 4 ohm So now we need to predict whether this is a balanced bridge or not. So now to check the condition for the balanced bridge, This is going to be you have to do a cross type multiplication like this ZQ is going to be multiplying with this ZR cross directions is going to be multiplied cross direction right here we have this QR and PS. ZQ is 2 multiplying with this 4 which is equals to ZP that is 4 multiplying with this 2 so this is this condition satisfy so this is the case for the balanced bits let's assume we have the current as I and let's assume this as some load resistance if this condition satisfy then the current passing through this load impedance is going to be equal to zero so this i equals to zero ampere because it satisfy the balance speeds expression and if you are finding out what is the z equivalent through this terminal that is a and b this z equivalent is going to be equals to before that let us modify this circuit 
right here we are going to have zq equals to 2 ohm zp equals to 4 ohm since the i equals to 0 right here this is behaving as the open circuit and zr is going to be equals to 4 ohm so far here we need to find out the z equivalent now it is quite easier to predict or to find out this z equivalent this is going to be equals to you just need to add this 2 plus 2 which is in parallel with this 4 plus 4 4 parallel with this 8 this is going to be equals to 4 into 8 by 8 plus 4 which is equals to 8 by 3 ohm so this is the one of the example to find the balance speeds and after that calculate the z equivalent across any terminal let's assume this as a b first check the condition for the balance speeds if this condition satisfy the current passing through this impedance or this circuit is going to be equals to zero and after that you can modify or directly from here you can just find out the z equivalent through this terminal that is a and b and you can observe here we have modified this circuit and you can observe the current passing through this branch or this wire is zero and now it becomes easier to find out the z equivalent 